Well, uh, I guess the, the big news today, Zane, for old Melbourne Rebels, I guess, uh, what's your take on all that? Um, we, I don't know. I don't really know too much about it, but um, I hope uh, all the players and staff down there are doing well. But yeah, like I said, don't really know too much uh, about it. But I think they'll be, you know, they'll be here for the competition this year. So I mean, we still have to play them this year. So um, still be exciting. I mean, speaking of Taniella, you heard how he's going? Um, yeah, I've had a couple of chats to him, and um, he seems to be enjoying himself down there. And um, yeah, like, like I said, he's just getting into preseason and training hard. So yeah. Still good to chat to him about, about things. Zane, massive 2023, mate, for you, obviously. Debut for the Wallabies, World Cup as well. How do you reflect on that year? Um, yeah, it was. It all happened pretty quickly, I guess. Um, but after, I guess, all that um, all that rugby, it was good to just kind of reflect. And you know, I was pretty um, proud of what I achieved. And obviously, it wasn't the result we were um, looking for. But, I mean, it was a massive experience for me. And just all the learnings I took out of it, I think it's really helped me become a better rugby player. And, yeah, hopefully I can translate that into um, our season this year. Some of the biggest scrums in the world you've come yeah, up against. South yeah. Africa, Georgia. What did you learn from that? Um, I guess, you know, the South Africans, I'd never played them before. And they're just uh, a lot bigger than, I guess, uh, some of the boys I was used to. But, I mean, like I said, like I've said in previous interviews, like scrumming is all about, I guess, learning um, from your next scrum, I guess. So, uh, yeah, all the experiences and learning that's cut out of that will um, help me. I mean, not only help me be better in Super Rugby, so... Like I said, it was, it was really tough, but yeah, a lot of good learning experiences. You do a lot of training against Penny. How would you find coming up against him at the World Cup? Yeah, it was, it was pretty uh, pretty funny, I guess, um, lining up against him. But, I mean, like I said, it was kind of in the heat of the moment. So I kind of didn't really notice it was on until we were, it was a break in play. And I was like, oh, wow, I'm just coming against uh, Penny. It feels a bit like training, but, you know, he's, he's a world-class um, loose head. And he also plays tight head. So, yeah, it was pretty weird versing him. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a tough scrum to scrum to. Um, be a part of. I was about to say, it feeds into how good the quality of props is at the Reds this year. You've got you know, Penny, uh, Jeff, Alex has come over as well, yourself now, test prop. Competition must be really hot. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of depth in, in our front row. Loose head and tight head and a couple of boys can play both uh, positions. So the competition there is actually, um, it's pretty um, exciting, I guess. You know, obviously we've had some boys play for the All Blacks, Penny's played for Fiji, and all of them have played all across, across the world. So they have different techniques, but um, ex experiences they are, they've all been really energetic in this preseason, like driving each other to get better. And you know, it's like they're running around like 18, 19 year olds, just really, really, really ready to rip in for the season. Well, that's how some of those live scrumming sessions been. Oh, it's been been tough, especially in the brizzy heat. But um, I think as tough as it's been, it's good. Like, you know, we're all challenging each other, trying to get better. Because, yeah, if you get beaten in a scrum here, it's good. But it's better here than, I guess, on the field where, I mean, it could cost us a game. So, um, yeah, better to learn from that here. For sure, a new scrum coach, new forwards coach as well with Zane coming in. How's that transition been? Yeah, it's been pretty good. I mean, um, shock, yeah, Zane. It's kind of weird calling him <laughs> Zane. But um, yeah, it's been really good for us. Um, brings in a lot, lot more uh, detail around our scrum and, and line out. And he's helped me a lot just with some of the little nuances around the scrum. And, you know, he's helped a lot of us come along. Like um, George Blake has helped him really well. And he's been training very well at Loosehead. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting having him in. Yeah, it's been really good. Like he's t taught me um, a lot of stuff around my binds and that, and um, I guess that's been helping me over the past couple of weeks. And you know, his I guess his energy is a bit different to what we're used to, but um, it's always kind of um, good to see him with his tripod getting around filming his own content. But you know, it's it's pretty um, nice to see on Instagram what he's doing. But yeah, it's really good to have him in as well. Christy. Yeah, obviously, um, I'm very grateful for um, him giving me the opportunity to, I guess, make my debut for the Wallabies and being around that squad. And, uh, you know, he put us through a lot of um, tough sessions and, yeah, he helped me grow a lot. But um, I guess that's in the past now and I wish him well, whatever he's doing, because he did help me a lot in that World Cup. But, um, yeah, I guess it's a new year, so if I can use what he's taught me and what I learned in that um, environment to, I guess, help the Reds this, this year. Oh, yeah, definitely. I saw the trailer um, this morning and, you know, I was obviously there while they were filming a lot of stuff with the boys and pretty excited to see um, 
I guess how they uh, portray it and what they have in the episodes. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'll definitely be tuning into that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said, the experience that they bring is invaluable. Um, like just the standards that they drive, and I guess um, you know how they challenge us young props, and also the other older ones in Seth and Penny. Like they're really driving that standard to compete every single session, every single scrum, everything you do. Just make sure um, our standards are that really high around the breakdown, line out lifts, scrumming. So yeah, it's really good to have their I guess their take on it and how they can share their experience with us is really. I guess it's invaluable to us. And I know that you've already kind of touched upon it, but just how beneficial and how much further along do you think you are this time right now compared to where you were this time last year? Um, I think um, personally, I think I'm leaps and bounds from where it was this time last year. Like, um, just because training in that environment um, in France with those um, that caliber of player, like you know, Slips, Angus Bell, training around Nello, obviously, and then. Um, but yeah, just being able to train with those boys and also around the field as well, like playing against some of those, you know, the Wallaby players, the quicker players. It's just training at that uh, higher level has been, I guess it made me take my training to another level. And then coming back to preseason here, obviously having Jeff and um, Gups around improving my scrum and then our training here and during preseason has been very tough. So just trying to um, keep that level all the way through our preseason and hopefully could translate into games and have a... Yeah, pretty pretty good season. Right, and just the, the World Cup, um, it clearly didn't go to plan, uh, the results, but there were really young squad that was taken over there. Do, do you feel like Aussie Rugby and the Wallabies and yourself, like that there's so much more upside than perhaps is being represented? Yeah, I mean, obviously we were a young squad, but I think that's an excuse. We went over there with a plan to perform well and um, you know put out some good performances. Obviously, didn't go to plan, but like you said, I think there is a lot of upside. Um, yeah, I guess you know all of us have to play well for our clubs this year, put our best foot forward, and hopefully, um, a lot of us get picked again. Hopefully, but um, yeah, and if we do that, I'm sure you know coming in next year again, we'll be going out there to put out some good performances. Does it motivate you more um, having had that taste? Yeah, definitely. I mean dream come true to play for the Wallabies and play in that World Cup but you know, I don't want it to just be a one time thing hopefully I can you know play the best I can in Super Rugby and help the Reds go well and hopefully there'll be enough to push me to get I guess sucked in the squad again so yeah it definitely does give me more motivation because yeah it's, like I said it's just a dream come true. And just last one for me like if there's a word or a, or a moment that stands out with your time with Eddie are you able to bring us into what that might be? Um, I guess it was probably, I think they posted on, on Instagram, the one-on-ones me and uh, Shoppy would do where Eddie would um, bring us over after training and we'd have to kind of just go at each other. Um, he's, the environment that that kind of was, that little one v one drill, is all about how much you're willing to put in and just learn to get better. And yeah, I was doing it against Shoppy, who I was really close with, but then, yeah, he'd be screaming at you, trying to get you to go, uh, go harder, but it was all about, I guess, getting better me and Shoppy, so... I think, yeah, just his, um, I guess, dedication to get us better, so I think that was it. Who's the player that you've been packing down most with? Um, at the Reds, there's a player like that with you at the Queensland. Um, I think there's not one that I've been packing down with um, the most. I mean, it's just been trying out new combinations. Everyone's been rotating, and it's pretty good because everyone, like I said, has been challenging each other, so everyone's going... 100% every session, so you can't, can't really single out anyone that I've been packing down with too much. Okay. Thanks for your time, Zach. Thank you. Uh, just a Zane, couple. Can, of, I, oh. can I just ask you, um, Les Kiss, new coach at the Reds since your time last year, what are Les's traits as a coach and what's he bringing out of the players? Um, uh, we have a couple of pillars here that I think he really um, shows in the way he uh, acts around the place, you know, his care for us and I guess the second one is challenging us. You know, he cares about us as players and he wants us to get better, but he's not going to do it by, I guess, like bathing us. He's challenging us, making us work hard. 
especially in you know pre-season Bridgie he teaching us new things making us recall them and under fatigue and he's yeah he's really care he's care cares about us but he challenges us as well you've got a, a couple of trials Western Force at Ballymore afternoon game on on Saturday and then the Waratahs how important is it to, to get a bit of momentum up in these trials before the Super Rugby Pacific starts yeah well definitely first two games of the year we want to um, I guess hit the ground running and perform well but you know, we've had a pretty good preseason, but you know, it's January and all the teams are undefeated in January. So I guess we'll see where we're at the first trial. You know, review that. Hopefully, make some improvements in the next game, and then hopefully go into the season with our best foot forward. A couple of good props over at Force. Harry Hooper, a familiar face as yeah. well. Are you keen to pack down against him? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I haven't seen seen Hoops in a while, so it'll be good to see him again. And yeah, it'll be my first time playing against him, so that'll be interesting. I'm sure he'll. Uh, that's something special up his sleeve. Good props over there, like Atu Molly. They've got some real class. Have you done any study into what the force are going to bring to Ballymore this weekend? Yeah, obviously we preview those. Uh, the teams are going to reverse, so yeah, we've had a couple couple of days of good preview. So um, yeah, we're pretty excited to play our first trial against them. Uh, just being here at Ballymore, um, you know, you obviously saw the boys played here against Panasonic yeah. and the Challenger series, but with the you know, half of the stadium redeveloped and a real buzz around the place, are you excited to? To see a big crowd here on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, definitely. I really am. Um, I watched the um, the last Panasonic game they played against here last year, and yeah, it was a good good environment, good atmosphere, and yeah, to see the I guess the whole grandstand in the hill packed out again, that was pretty cool. For Reds fans, first opportunity to see you guys in action in 2024. Uh, you'd be encouraging them to come down and see how hard you've been working. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, we've had a been training hard all preseason, so hopefully we can get a good crowd come down and you know watch a good game of footy. Uh, when Taniel has been sort of injured before you've stepped up with Reds and Wallabies, I guess without him now, you sort of be used to that, that pressure of stepping up in the top dog? Um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one because, yeah, obviously he's been injured uh, a fair bit and that's when I've got my opportunities, but, you know, um, like I said, I'm still pretty new to all of this. Uh, like, I've played a few games, but still uh, learning a lot of things to do. So um, whether I'm the starting tight head or not, I just want to do my job for the team because, like I said, there's a lot of um, competition in that area. So whoever gets it, I wish them well. If it's me, great. If it's not, I'll do my best to make them better and hopefully get myself in there.